now have Mr. Michael Knoll. Please come forward. State your name and address for the record, please. Uh, good evening, uh, Chairman Slaughter, County Commissioners. I haven't seen you in a while. It's good to be back. Um, I wanted to just make a very brief comment on the Sable Trail Pipeline. I do not have the materials with me today. I anticipated to have them with me. I was distracted with other matters. But basically, in the last couple of months, I had the opportunity to uh, meet with quite a few people, not just here in the state of Georgia, but also all the way up to in North Carolina, who are in a similar situation as, uh, for example, Mr. Larry Rogers is, as they're potentially exposed to the idea or the possibility that at some point very soon, unless we're able to stop it, uh, a company that uh, represents uh, a corporation of some sort is trying to put in a, uh, in a gas pipeline and therefore ultimately has a huge impact on their property values, on the land they cherish, on everything from, from uh, perhaps old stands of live oak trees uh, to ponds uh, to the wetlands uh, that they might have on their property. The reason why I'm here is basically to point out that um, as uh, and I do appreciate what you have done already in the past in terms of coming to the event we had organized at, at Valdosta State University where we had a panel discussion on the issue of Sable Chair Pipeline. And I also do appreciate already the uh, uh, public statements that were made by, uh, by uh, you, uh, Chairman Slaughter, and the commissioners in general. Uh, but as it turns out, we need to m do more, and other com uh, counties are in the same position, basically, where they're considering to go beyond this step and uh, put in more uh, specifically uh, strongly worded resolutions, perhaps going all the way in the direction of ordinances to help landowners to protect their land that may have been in their possession for several generations. And this essentially uh, is also um, one, thing, one thing I need to also point out at this, uh, at this time is that since the last time I've come here to address uh, this chamber, it has also become clear that there is an increasing amount of export LNG stations that are being built uh, this is a transmission gas pipeline that goes through Georgia anyway. Uh, it is essentially a superhighway for natural gas that then goes somewhere else. And we have also found out, because there was actually uh, an article in, in the Miami Herald, that it so happens that uh, Governor Rick Scott, the governor of Florida, has his own stakes in this whole thing. So in other words, what we have is a situation where a governor in Florida who is uh, sitting in a nice uh, chamber of some sort, makes decisions with buddies that he would like to do business with, all the way from perhaps Texas and beyond, makes a decision that impacts on citizens in the state of Georgia, and it's not to the benefit of anybody in Georgia or to anybody in Lawrence County, and we've got to do better than what we have done so far in order to stop this pipeline. Uh, I would also like to let you know quickly that White Cross Actors for Clean Energy will be stepping up to the plate a little more than we have already done in this regard in addition to the, uh, to the billboard that we have on I-75 and will continue to have. We also started as of today to do our protests in a fairly familiar location at the corner of the Park and Patterson uh, where the Industrial Authority used to be because in the back of the building are actually offices of Sable Trail. We'll continue to do this on a regular basis. And there will be other things happening in the future will every now and then visit you and share information with you, including articles that may be of your interest. And I do again encourage you to look into possibilities how we can make an even larger statement, pass a resolution of some sort that will help your citizens, people like uh, Mr. Rogers and others, to fight off what is essentially in the tentacle of a fracking industry, which is not benefiting anybody but certain individuals. We do not want to have public risks for corporate profit. This is not what this country is about. And I'd like to work with you all the best way we can to make this happen if we stop this thing. And that's all. Thank, Thank you so much. Thank you, Mr. Noble.